All right, so what about derivatives of quotients? Well, hopefully you can guess that it's not going to be f prime over g prime. The derivative of f over g is not f prime g prime. It's kind of like the product rule, but some weird stuff happens. So here's the formula. I'm just going to tell this one to you. You get f prime of x times g of x minus f of x g prime of x. Now that's almost exactly the product rule. The way that we wrote it, you just put a minus instead of a plus. But then here's the weird part. Surely this can't be it, because there's a quotient here. We expect a quotient over here. And you do get one. You have to divide by nothing other than g squared of x. So you take, you take uh, g and you square it. So g times g. Uh, you know what? I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it like this. This might be easier. g of x all squared. OK. So that's the quotient rule. Why don't you pause the video, take a moment, let that soak in. And then when you're ready, we'll work out an example. So here we go. I want to work out uh, this example. So I'm going to go ahead and just put an arrow. Y prime is. I want to take the derivative of the top, and I get out a 3. So this is going to be um, 3 times the bottom, which is a uh, 2x plus 1. All right, then I want to subtract. And I want to multiply 3x times the derivative of the bottom. And I get out a 2. So the derivative of the bottom is a 2. And then I'm going to divide by the bottom all squared. So 2x plus 1 all squared. And so when I clean this thing up, I get, what, 6x plus 3 minus 6x all over 2x plus 1 squared. And then I'm going to get, uh, well, just a 3 over 2x plus 1 all squared. Now, some of you, um, being the good students that you are, are wondering, do I need to expand the bottom? And the answer is no. There's really no reason to ever expand bottoms uh, or denominators. Uh, it, it really doesn't help any. Uh, so if it's already factored, leave it alone. And if it's not, then uh, don't worry about it. So well, I, you may need to factor it if you're trying to combine fractions or whatever. But it's the the tops, the yeah, the um, numerators that you often need to expand just to be able to simplify. Whereas we're not going to be able to simplify denominators. Okay, well let's stop this video here and then we'll do some more examples in the next one.